I went to a gas station with $2 and what happened spawned an entire video. But first, I just wanted to appreciate how unenthusiastic I look in this shot. I honestly look like I'm going to court, which probably explains some of the strange reactions I got later on. But anyways, as always, I'm Twisty Seeves and this is Talks with Interesting People. <laughs> All right, well, I can't find my keys. Oh, sh my keys. But that's okay. Just leave the house unlocked, you know? What the? Uh, I know I have my keys. It's not like it's 2021 or anything, you know? So we'll be fine. The house will be great, you know? <laughs> you know? One hour later. I still don't find the keys, but that's all right. So now we're gonna get to the point of this video, shall we? Let's start off with something we all know, right? My name is Twisty. And today, I bought my roommate's car. So I'm going, I'm at this place, and I realized that I need to replace the fuel that is in my roommate's car. And there is like 50 miles left, okay? But I have $2 in my wallet, so we're good, you know? So I walk into the gas station, I give him the $2 and right behind me, there's this, there's this lady and she's like, you know what? I'll pay for him. I kind of looked over her and I was like, well, you don't have to do that. You know? And she's like, yeah, I know. And she's like, yeah, let me just, let me just pay. So I was like, well, all right. So I go to hand my $2 to the lady and she tells me, no, keep the $2. I'm just going to, I'm just going to pay for it. What? What? <laughs> so I had this idea. It suddenly occurred to me like, I wonder what other people out there have like that one story in their life where they look back and they go, I remember that when that one person helped me and it just stood out. So today I'm going to be going out, walking around, trying to see if I can talk to anyone. Do you have anything, any stories like that? What do we got going on here? Say your name for the audience. And can I get their stance on this idea of karma? Karma. They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine. All right, here we go, we're gonna do it. That I stood out. Yeah? But for Kid City went to to Andrew. But Andrew hit. For those of you who don't know, Hurricane Andrew was an extremely powerful Category 5 hurricane that struck the Bahamas, Florida, and Louisiana in August of 1992. The total damage it caused was over $27 billion, killing 65 people and displacing 250,000 more from their homes. Later on, Richard, that's this guy's name, says he was eight years old at the time this happened. So that would make him roughly 38 years old at the filming of this video. My dad was the, the lead security over all the little camps we had. He was kind of head man setting everything up. Yeah. When we went to Miami after the hurricane hit, yeah. because we had set up some projects behind it. Yeah. And then we had some folks that were that was jealous to come in and was talking crap to the old ladies and everything and to the kids. Just a bad situation. It's not good. They came back with all the homeboys, and wow. I'm trying to get a tire off the bike to get it running, and I get a chisel in my eye. Oh my God. Right there in my eye. Still got a scar. So I run into the Catholic, and I'm sitting out there. I'm like eight years old, and I'm sitting here bleeding blood. She swoops me up, and okay, we set up. Wow. Yep. Hey guys, this is Richard. I wanted to thank you, man, for telling me your story. Thank you so much. You have a great day, man. So that guy was actually really nice, and he actually he told a really good story, and those are the kind of people that I'm trying to connect with. Is that a person? I think I see a person right now. All right, we're gonna cross the street. Always look both ways, kids. Don't do what I just did. Always look both ways. Got away with it, though. <laughs> okay, so I did just talk to a couple other guys. They said that they were actually in the middle of work right now and that they couldn't talk, but one of the guys, he instantly pulled out his phone. He was like, what's your channel? He subscribed right then and there, so thank you very much. I didn't catch your name. I later found out his YouTube channel name was Six God Ties, so thanks for subscribing. All right, let's go find some more people. Okay, so I think I'm outside a nightclub right now and I just talked to this one guy who was pressure washing and he didn't feel comfortable talking on camera, which is too bad because he's a really cool guy. But right now he's going in and seeing if his friend would like to talk to me instead. All right, I'm going in. Thank you, sir. Wow, very nice. All right, Ryan, what, what do we got going on here? The biggest nightclub in Panama City. Oh, wow, very nice. Yeah, yeah we play uh, pretty much all just hip hop for the most part here at this club. 
Yeah, I mean, this, we get a good turnout here. I mean, it's packed. We've got a lot of big artists that we've already had come through this year. Let's see, uh, Young Blue, K Camp. <laughs> we've had probably 20 concerts already this year so oh wow we've been, we've been packed on every one of them and every friday and saturday they're always slammed too sundays we got jamaican nights oh really uh, so they all come here on sunday nights and it is packed they got a guy named uh, alkaline coming i never even heard of him and I, they were like telling me yeah he's a huge artist i looked him up and, and i never heard of him he's huge he's like the Kanye west of jamaica or something really <laughs> i mean i never heard of him but he packed this place out it was like, really put on a good show so, how, how long you been here now um, we've only been open a year a year a okay over a year now. Tell the audience, what's your YouTube channel? This guy's actually a YouTuber. DJ Type R. DJ T-Y-P-E-R. Type R, all right. My name's Ryan. Well, hey man, thank you so much for your time. I really appreciate this, man. This has been great. Hey, it was really nice to meet you too, man. Okay guys, so I just left the nightclub. That actually took longer than I thought it would. Whoever's throwing all their gum on the pavement, outside vibes, you gotta stop that. If you've got gum, put it in the trash. Do it or I'll kill you. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Seriously, I actually spoke with the maintenance man of Club Vibes and he said that this is actually a big problem here. People throwing their gum on the pavement out front. You can literally see that the pavement is littered with black spots and these are where gum have been thrown down. So while I am totally joking here, I am serious that proper disposal of gum and other non-biodegradable products is a very important issue. Please make sure to dispose of your waste properly. I feel like I'm walking away from the people. It's actually a lot harder to talk to people than you'd think. Because one guy thought I wanted acid. So, you know. Okay, so I just talked to someone else. They didn't have any stories to offer anything like that, but they did subscribe, so I got another subscriber. A shout out to Josh for subscribing. You're a great guy, Dan. Hey guys, it's Twisty, and I'm here with, say your name for the audience. Steve. This is actually really relaxing. So this guy, he has like this really nice porch swing, and he's just chilling out on his porch. Steve is my favorite so far of everyone I've talked to today because he's just so nice. Um, I was walking by and I introduced myself and he said I could come up. You were telling me, oh, hey. <laughs> we're just, I don't know who we're waving at. That's Rick. Oh, okay, right, I, of course. You said that you buy food for people or? I bought a 32 pack of chicken for a friend of mine. And, and why did you do that? Like what motivated you to do that? Friend. There you go. You believe in friendship? Of course I do. So if you have a friend who like came to your door right now and he didn't have anywhere to go and he was hungry, what would you do? Of course. You just, of course, he's me to explain, he's of course. For people out there who are not like this man, can you explain what of course means? Like what would you do? Of course means if you're not an idiot, I would give you a roof over your head. There you go. You really believe in friendship, but like if a stranger showed up at your door, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be so inclined, would you? Um, who's a stranger? You don't know what a stranger is because you don't know until you know they are this is big brain time if they were cool it's all good i can tell by looking their peepers people will try to screw you over and they do they try to hide it in what their you eyes think? <laughs> you think <laughs> i feel stupid asking that question now <laughs> i know what i'm talking about i know who my friends are who are not my friends if you had to guess off the top of your head how many friends do you think you have I'd probably say I'd probably got maybe six real friends. So you have six people in your life that you trust would come and help you if you needed it. Absolutely. And see, there are a lot of people out there who don't even have that. I know. I have no family on the planet. No I'm, family I'm, at all? Oh, no. I'm the baby in the family. Oh, it's, oh wow. Wow. That's, that's really sad. It's but, not sad. Bruh. It's part of life. You live, you die. So to you, it's just a part of the cycle. Yeah. And that's something that we can all learn from. So you going to put me on the old post TV? It's going to be on YouTube. Is I that... ain't sweating it. You ain't sweating it? Like... We haven't done anything. <laughs> really... I'm sorry. That was really funny. I'm just saying, we haven't done anything. We're just talking. How is this happening, by the way? Oh. I don't even know what that means. What is this? Wonderful. Wonderful. It means wonderful, apparently. I don't even know. Gas is eight cents a gallon. Eight cents a gallon? Eight cents a gallon. What? I ended up talking with Steve for over an hour just because of how nice he was. Eventually, he was showing me pictures on his phone. Oh, that's such a great picture. Telling me cool stories. And he even got me a glass of soda. Yay! 
I wish I could show more, but this video is already running a little long, so I had to cut it short. But one moment I just had to share was this. I like what you're doing. That's a cool thing. Thank you. You're a good guy. Thank you. This guy is this hey, this guy is awesome, man. Really like this guy a lot. I live a couple blocks down, so when I finish this video, it's okay if I come back and show you. I might not be here. He might not be here, but that's okay. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. If you liked it, please like and share. And if you want more videos of me talking to random people, subscribe and I'll keep embarrassing myself. Oh, also, I found my keys.